Nice. Well, basically what it is is when you have the log of the same base, see log base B equals log base B, these bases are the same. These logs are equal to one another, which means that the arguments, okay, this quantity here is equal to this quantity here. So log base B of X equals log base B of Y, then X must equal Y. It's very similar to what we did when we talked about the one-to-one -one property for exponents. If you have two to the X equals two cubed, you can see these bases are the same, so X must equal three, right? It's very uh, similar for the one-to-one -one property for logs. Now let's get into some examples. We're gonna start easy and get more challenging. So log base three of two to the X, two uh, X minus five equals log base three of 21. You can see they're both log base three, that's important. So that means that this argument must equal this argument. So we have two X minus five equals 21. Add five to both sides, right? So we get two X equals 26, divide by two, and you can see that X equals 13. Okay, let's look at a little more, more challenging example. Now these are natural logs, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the properties of logs to combine these together into one log. And the way you do that is when you're subtracting, you can write this as one log by dividing the arguments. It's the log of x mi uh, minus the log of two, natural log of x minus natural log of two. You take this quantity divided by this quantity, so natural log of x divided by two equals the natural log of 10, and you can see now we have the same base. Natural log is log base E. So that means that this argument is equal to this argument. So X divided by two equals 10. Uh, we can multiply both sides by two and you can see that X equals 20.